Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a unique texture that uh, that can't be replicated by anybody else. Um, they can come close, but they can't get the exact same one. So that's where um, the benefit comes into knowing how to make your own textures. And uh, and, uh, and and I'm going to just show you one real simple uh, way that you can use a texture. I'm just going to uh, place in some text. Anyway, I'm going to get started. Um, first, let me explain to you what we're looking at right here. Uh, what I did is, uh, and if you don't have a scanner, I, I do. Um, you can certainly go to a library and use their scanner or something like that, or go to a, a print shop and use their scanner. But uh, what I've done is I, I took a 8.5 by 11 sheet of uh, paper, and I crumpled it up, I burned it, and I scribbled some... Uh, some pin on there, and then I, I put it in my scanner and I scanned it. Um, you can do all sorts of different things in order to create your initial texture. Doing something like that's a good way to do it. Um, you could do, you know, you could pick up leaves off the ground, um, stick a piece of carpet in there, or do whatever you want, and uh, it, you'll, you'll get, you know, an interesting texture. But in, in, in <coughs> anyway. Um, what I'm going to show you how to do is uh, work with it in Illustrator and uh, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to click on your texture that you've scanned in and you're going to go up to uh, Object, down to Live Trace and to Tracing Options. And That's just telling me that it's a large picture. Um, what I want to do here uh, is, uh, and you can certainly mess around with this, but uh, the way that, since I'm going to place it over some text, I'm going to leave the mode to black and white. If you did color, um, you could have, you know, you could keep more of this look as your texture. Uh, threshold, I want, um, I want this to mostly be a, a black since I'm going to be um, doing a, a clipping mask later. So I'm going to do a, a preview. I'm going to click the preview of this, and since uh, since that's mostly white. I think if I bump up the threshold, that's going to make it uh, a lot more black. And yes, it does. And uh, something like that's going to work probably a lot better. I'm going to do a little less, uh, quite a bit of black. So I'm going to do about 196, eh, a little more, 209 on the threshold. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Um, <clears throat> then I'm going to uh, leave the other options. You could leave it their default. Um, I'll just go through them real quick here. Um, blur zero, resamples at 200 pixels, uh, fills I have selected, path fitting two, minimum area zero, corner angle zero. And I'm not sure if, if yours are set to something else, it's probably fine. But I'm going to go ahead and let this trace the way that it is. <coughs> and uh, and it's, uh, it's traced, as you can see. Um, we went from you know, this original picture right here, and uh, and then we traced it, and that's what it looks like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it quite a bit smaller, and this is important because uh, text won't sit very well inside of that sort of texture, but if you make a lot of small textures, the text will sit a lot better in there. So in any case, now I'm going to make my text. So I'm going to uh, select my text tool, and I'll just click in Illustrator here. I'll make some type. And this will work with any typeface that you choose. Um, I'll just leave it on the default, which was Myriad Pro. And I'll make it bold, 72 points. And... Uh, what I'll do is I'll just kind of copy and paste our texture until we have enough to cover the entire text. This is where you can get kind of fun and a little random. You can go in and tilt these things a little bit if you want. I'm just going to keep copying and pasting. Okay. 
Let's just stretch this one out a little bit. We have something like that cover the remainder of our text. And as you can see, um, you have a lot of white areas there. If you want to get rid of those, you just can take your direct select tool and uh, click on a white area. Oh, first select all of your objects and click expand. And then once they're expanded, you take your direct select tool. And if, uh, if expand's not up there, you can go to object and down to expand and it'll do the same thing. But then uh, take your direct select uh, pointer, click on a white area, go up to select, go down to same, appearance, and you should select all the white areas in the entire document and you just press delete and that'll get rid of those. And now you can see that these lay over the top of each other a lot better. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and select them all and I'm going to press control shift and well let me just do it this way because I'm not sure I guess even what that keys called it's a bracket or something but I'm gonna do it this way object transform um, <coughs> um, excuse me object arrange and bring to front <coughs> I meant to send it to the back I want to send it to the back object transform arrange and uh, send to back then what we'll do is we'll place our text directly over the top of it. Anything's pretty good. Probably something about like that. And then we'll select everything. And we'll you can press Control 7, or you can go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And that's about what you're going to be left with. If there's any areas that uh, that you don't like, you can certainly double click on them. This looks pretty good. Let's say that the end you don't think is readable enough. You just double click on that area try to find the clip mask or uh, an, an easier way would be to go to object um, select your object first then you go to object clipping mask release and that'll release all those objects and then what you can do is find out where the in is and just kinda either move the text like I just did or uh, you can click the object and move it a little bit so that there's more of a, a, a black area on top of the in. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just move it down a little bit like that. And then we'll just simply make the thing mask again. And that'll change it. Now you can see more of the in. Um, but anyway, now you have this. And uh, it's, a, it's kind of a distressed looking text. Um, and it's very unique. Nobody else can make it look exactly like this. Um, so <clears throat> so you can't get copied completely. Um, it's a good thing to know. And uh, certainly you could have taken the texture and uh, done plenty more with it. But this is a, this is definitely a, a good thing to know how to do. So anyway, I hope you learned something. Uh, please watch the rest of my videos, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and all that good stuff. Thanks again.